brand new camera. Here's our next experiment in reality. We're gonna come down here to where there are three bridges, all built in the 1860s, all having to cross. There's a reason why there's three right here in the intersection, is because they uh, there's so many creeks coming together right here. It's also a hobo camp forever and a garbage dump and noisy and all that, but at the same time, it's gravels and stuff go by some of the oldest ranches. So that's the setup and I have no idea what it's gonna look like or who's living down here, but we'll check it out, right? We'll work our way through anything that we can, work upstream, and see what there isn't. But yeah, stone carved bridge. Hey, look at this. Look, come on. Everywhere you go, you're gonna find some actual natural gravel. And that's been sitting there next to this for a while. It looks like a whole creek winding up, so. Let's look through the roots and see what we find. Very much looks like a piece of petrified wood. It really stands out compared to the rest of the creatures in the creek. So, but what we're doing is hunting a high tone. It appeared. be here. I'll have to check on it again. The garbage down here. Um, a lot of roots, a lot of rocks. But here's our next signal. Wow. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Oh man, I got water on the lens already. Okay, here's our next target. And pretty modern. Always bib, but it has uh, the brass piece. That's just a 99. Knowing I shouldn't be chasing a 99, but thinking that... Um, I know that the ranch up here, everybody's forgotten, but it was one of General Vallejo's cousins actually owned a little knob of uh, land right above this and when I was young, very young, when my dad was my age now, um, he used to drive tractor up there and they would turn up silver and all kinds of things all the time. But, it's in the bottom of the hole. Who knows why? It was glued to something, it's like a pot metal, yeah, we'll take it. Pretty cool. <laughs> it hit this bank and got stuck, so we'll look for other stuff doing the same thing. Just underneath the actual bridge. And I saw a flash in the pan here as I was going down. It looked green. Mm. Yes, I have a pinpointer. No, we don't need it. And. 77. This could be a good hunt. Very same hole. We have a very high signal going on. What's happening with you, pinpointer? Okay. A lot of glass here. But oh, there it went. Another order Lincoln. It's like a 1970. There's still a screaming signal in here. So I dug a little bit further. Here's a 68. So we're going further back in time. But I don't think that's what was screaming. Let me do it again. I don't even know if this is, oh, there's another one right here. Wow, quite a few of them stacked up. This is 74. 
But look, what's this? This is like a thin, you an arm off of a clock. Get the pattern on that. Can I get the detail? It's actually very pretty. Very pretty. You see that? Maybe a silver hairpin? That is just beautiful. Let me clean this up a little bit. You see what's going on with the metal. But also, see, I'll put it in my pocket and we'll give this another. There's still more crazy high tones in here. Where is my pin pointer? Sure, we didn't drop that. Okay, this is in. Right in here. Oh, zinc? No, we don't want the zinc. Me, we do. But only to see if we can trade it in for a copper penny. Okay, maybe that's it. So let's see what the silver thing rings up when we swing over it. We'll set it here. So small and dainty. We'll get back here with the garret. Maybe all the coins combined with it, but it's ringing pretty low. 30s. Ooh, but there's a bunch of signals in here. Yay for us. Okay, I'm, I'm not joking, it's jumping. But let's look at this. Let me turn off the camera, use both hands. I'll be right back. Okay, underneath an old bridge. Who knows how old, because there's modern roads here still. So we're gonna call this our first piece of jewelry. I think it's an older brooch pin. From the thickness of it, I would say it's older. But, maybe not from the weld marks. Not sure. You know what you think it is. Probably a brooch pin, or a hairpin. But cool. Nineteen sixty-six dime ten cents. See this little hump of dirt has come through here and been blown up like a little berm, so I'm kinda going through it, but yeah. At least we know there's coins getting dropped by these bridges this whole time. Another little camp. And uh didn't look like there's anybody here, but they were just endeavorous, man. They got a lot of stuff done. And so I was detecting a little bit, and that's what I found, was a buried box. There's also games, it's like everything's here, oh, oh, still in the plastic. Oh shucks, Munchkin Quest. Well, those are fun, don't they? The leaves are on everything. Whoever was here got rousted out of here. Oh, man. This is looking more like somebody's home home, you know? It's in the box. Somebody's worldly goods. I think I found both sides of it. Tried to take a lot of the pressure off at the top. And see what it is. Hang on, I'm gonna pry it open. Is, I don't know, it's a folded up plastic table. I believe that's a deer. And uh, I'm not gonna try and dig it out and dig under there. We're just gonna move on with life here. These games though, look awesome. Out of here. We'll see how good a condition they're in. It's about to start raining, so I don't know. Oh wow. Ultra Pro. 
Let's roll decks, dice, cards. Jeez. Don't know. Let me know what you think. We'll leave them here until it rains. Okay, I searched around a bit. There's nobody here. And, uh, what did I do? I buried my pick. Oh, no, there it is. <sighs> Sorry. So we're back to this table that's buried underground. And there's nothing under it. Well, we had to make sure. There is a table. Huh. Well, no gold or gems or bodies, but now we know. Maybe it's a secret gaming club. Never heard of such a thing, but... Okay, let's go see what else there is to see. Well, this is looking like a, uh, a dump here, actually. Man, these people were into collecting their sets. Jeez, everything looks complete. I don't know. And the crazy, right? That's an ally. Elysium, Bioshock, Dark Seas. Oh, wish I knew about any of them. Okay. Looks like we are in uh, Camp Central, but no campers. I don't know where we are, really. Back at our little cleanup station, here is our little hunt um, results for that was Millican Creek in the Napa Valley. Um, bicycle chains, these keys were all on one ring, so somebody lost their whole set. And piece of petrified wood, yay! Another bonus. Um, I think it's a, a tequila badge. It has modern glue on it, but it is heavy metal. So some sort of bronze or or whatever, who knows. Maybe a bum stole it and peeled it off somewhere, you know. It happens. A water fossil. Fossil? This is a fossil of water. Um, a spindle of some sort, or a gearing, or a nine inch nail. An ode to Trent and uh, false signals, pressure gauges, uh, bearings, copper wire. This is our silver coated pin of some sort. It's just plated, it's like copper underneath, but it is pretty and it did ring up high. But it could have been bought at Claire's Boutique three years ago and thrown over the bridge. Who knows? We got two dimes, nickel, quarter. These are all fake pennies. So we're going to start calling them. They're after 1983. And they're made out of zinc. Which is basically like soda rock. And when you even really consider it a metal, it's like, yeah, really? And here's the real pennies. These are from like... 60 years ago. That's all I have to say about all that. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me. I uh, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you on the next one. Um, like, share, subscribe, comment.